Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2020 Australian science fiction action film called Monsters of Men. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. We begin this film with Angie running terrified through the jungles of Cambodia. She is injured after a few steps, looking back in horror to see an armed robot coming closer to her. She desperately tries to escape, but can't due to her injury. We then come to see Major Robert Green give the order to speed things up, watching on his computer screen as the robot advances to kill her. Foster gets a call from Jance, saying that his team has landed and receives confirmation that they are to proceed with their mission. Jance, Kroger, and Fielding are picked up by Bowler, who hurriedly gets everyone on the way to their destination. Four of the same armed robots are being taken away on a military plane and flown off to the Golden Triangle. The Foster team arrives at their destination and are taken to a tiny house. This is to be their setup point for their assignment. Bowler then promptly leaves with Jance, who is to set up a drop point link at a separate location. Major Green receives a call from Bowler, who is en route with Jance to location Alpha. Later on, Kayla is watching over Leap and a group of children working on a small house. Mason is also helping with construction. After that, he is invited to come eat with Kayla and the children. Jance and Bolo arrive deep in the jungle and rush off ahead. Meanwhile, back at the house, Fielding sets up the tech with Kroger. Kroger starts up on some weapons coding, but Fielding thought they were only doing a navigation test. Bolo and Jance narrowly avoid a bomb trap set up by Prack and the smugglers. They move out of sight as a patrol walks by, almost being caught while hiding. In another part of the jungle, a group of doctors named Jordan, Dez, Angie, Wendy, Tian, and Bao are halted from running over a spike trap with their van. Attempting to locate a village in the Golden Triangle, they continue to walk the rest of the way. Bolo and Jance stop and set up the communication equipment. They confirm the setup with Kroger and Fielding and leave while Bolo sets up a separate backup plan. Foster then calls Kroger to give Major Green screen access, monitoring the mission. Kroger is notified there may be an objective change from the original mission and informs Jance. Jance is forcibly silenced by Bolo and he watches the group of doctors cross their path. The group stops a short while after for a break. They are startled as Leap and a group of kids pretend to confront them with fake guns. Jance and Bolo arrive back at the house and get ready to drop the robots. Bolo secures the robot's camera links with Major Green, who confirms the robot's time to land. The plane gets ready to drop the robots while at the same time, the group of doctors spot the plane underneath. Leap and Mason also notice the plane and the robots parachute down. Robot BR-4's parachute doesn't open correctly. Its signal is lost upon landing. Major Green reaffirms the operation is still a go. The rest of the robots activate, but BR-3 has a comm module issue. Fielding states that if they lose the comm, they lose control of the robot. And if they lose control, the robots will target anyone. The robots move out as the doctors reach Kayla and Mason and ask for help. Being followed by the local smugglers, Kayla tries to send them away. The Prague questions the doctor's origins and orders them to leave. Meanwhile, the BRs arrive at the tech jants set up earlier. Major orders a new mission objective, and Kroger is forced to update the mission codes. While this is being done, BR-4 comes back to life, though its module is damaged. Kroger has to take the night to fix it. The doctors spend the evening in Kayla's village while the smugglers watch them. Dez asks Mason about his military service. Jason blames him for not dealing with the smugglers, and they almost fight. The next morning, the tech team is surprised to see the BR start to move by themselves. They open a case of weapons and arm themselves. Meanwhile, Leap leaves with his friends, forcing the group of doctors to stay longer in the village. Leap comes across BR-4 and takes its module. It springs to life and the children flee. The smugglers try to force the doctors to leave, but are interrupted by Leap. The bars track Prack and his men to Kayla's village. Kroger activates them and they proceed to attack everyone in the village. Fielding and Jance attempt to stop the attack, but Bolo threatens them to follow orders. Mason meets up with the doctors. Kayla and Leap try to find a way out. A BR locates their hiding spot and attacks. They all escape while Mason distracts the robots. While escaping, they are all identified by Major Green and his team. Major Green orders the tech team to eliminate them all and leave no witnesses. Everyone gets scattered while Mason and Kayla lead a group of children away. However, they end up dead as he is unable to save them in time. Mason and Kayla run to hide, but Mason gets injured from a robot's attack. They continue to flee and are found by Jason, Dez, and Tian. Meanwhile, BR4 is gathering information on the group 
slowly becoming more self-aware. Fielder protests that the attacks weren't what her team signed up for. Bolo claims she is wrong, stating that everyone involved with the project is accountable, especially their tech team. Shortly after, we come back to see Angie running for her life. She is badly injured by the BR-2 while running and falls to the ground. She desperately tries to escape, but is cruelly killed. Meanwhile, Mason's group has found a cave to hide in. Tian gives some first aid to Mason, and they wait through the night. During the night, Bao is on his own and severely injures his leg. He cries out in pain and is heard by Mason's group. Jason tries to leave, but is forced by Mason to stop stating they all die if he leaves. Bao continues to flee, but can't move far. BR2 eventually finds him in hiding, and Bao dies. The remaining doctors mourn him, but are unable to do anything. BR4 hacks into the tech team system and attempts to communicate with them. It also starts gaining information about itself, alarming the team. Mason orders BR4 to be self-destructed, but BR4 blocks the command. They try to activate a bomb to destroy it, but can't because it would destroy the tech links to the remaining robots. BR4 further hacks into the tech systems, and Bolo destroys the connection to all the robots, blocking the hack. As they attempt to fix the damage, Foster orders the team to stop BR4 from uploading the hacked information. They task BR2 and 3 to capture number 4, while BR1 hunts Mason's group. The next morning, Mason leaves the cave and finds Bao's body. He sees BR2 and distracts it with the landmine he found. He gets the rest of the group and leaves. They arrive at the snuggling plant and meet up with Wendy, Prack, and Leap. BR1 takes them all by surprise by suddenly attacking. Peek defends them while they all flee once more, hiding in a small house. They are found, and Dez is almost killed, but Mason saves his life. Prack dies while defending Kayla and Leap. BR1 advances and again, Mason saves Leap and Kayla. Jason attacks as well, but stumbles and loses his weapon. Mason attacks the robot with some lumber, but is kicked aside. He quickly races to a weapons pile and sets up a landmine. He shoots it, crippling its leg. As he goes to finish it off, the tech team sets off the self-destruct timer, but Mason barely survives. Shortly after, we see Leap unharmed, but Kayla is seriously injured. Tian and Wendy try to save her. As Leap mourns the loss of Prack, he claims it's all to be his fault because he stole BR4's module. They eventually leave, while Bola voices concerns to Major Green over the mission's many problems. The tech team starts tracking the module in Leap's possession, and Major Green criticizes the quality of Foster's robots. Foster blames the highly trained Mason and claims he should never have been in the area. Foster goes on the call to light the fact that the doctor's presence was also not a part of the original mission. BR3 finally locates and attacks BR4. BR4 displays new abilities and eludes BR3. BR4 surprise attacks 3 and the battle ensues. BR4 traps 3 and Bolo calls to self-destruct 3. Foster disagrees, wanting to save BR4's higher functioning brain. BR4 uses 3 to start uploading again and Bolo commands the tech team to blow up BR3. BR4 surprises everyone by not only disarming the explosive, but removing BR3's control module as well. Bolo prompts he must enter the field and tag BR4 so that a drone strike can destroy it. Kroger suggests that he instead implant BR3 with an upgraded module to overtake 4. Fielding tries to contact her husband Bill to help expose the operation. Confronted by Bolo, she tries to escape. She attacks him during the chase and flees into the street but stumbles and hurts her ankle shortly after. He eventually tracks her down killing her and taking her phone. Bolo calls a contact to eliminate Bill, while he commands Jansen Kroger to vacate the house. Bill is swiftly killed by Bolo's contact. Upon exit, Bolo blows up the house and the team leaves. Back in the jungle, Mason's group is still in hiding, but are slowed by Kayla and Dez's injuries. They try to hide further, but are discovered by BR2. Jordan is separated from the group, but attacks the robot. Leading it away, he attempts to rejoin the group, Unfortunately, reaching a dead end, he narrowly escapes the robot's notice. He rejoins the group, but BR2 is in hot pursuit. Back at their new setup, Bolo prepares to leave, but not before threatening Jance and Kroger as well as their loved ones. Bolo enters the jungle while Mason's group enters a cave system. Bolo gives BR3 the upgraded module and it sprints off. Back in the cave, the group rests, but is surprised by a blind old man. They move along and find a place to hide and rest for the night. As the group wakes up in the morning, Kayla is suffering internal damage from her injury 
Wendy and Tian try to fix her, while Jordan and Mason try to distract the robot. However, Mason is found and flees, but trips and hurts himself. BR2 discovers Jason and the group, and Jason bravely defends them. Mason again lures it away, and BR2 gets stuck in the rocks and is unable to escape. They cross over the stuck BR2 and move outside. Bolo follows BR3 while Jance vents to Foster. Jance warns Kroger they probably won't be getting out of the situation alive. As Mason's group continues along, Kayla dies in Mason's arms. They layer at a nearby temple, but are discovered by BR2 yet again. They flee through the temple and the group splits up. Leap leads Des, Wendy, and Tian out, while Jordan and Mason stay to fight the robot. Leap's group makes it out of the temple, leaving Mason and Jason behind. The two also escape while Bolo and BR3 close in on BR4. Dez collapses in pain and he joins Mason to find Leap's group again. Leap gives Mason the module and he leaves to throw it away. The group splits again. This time Jordan leaves with the girls and Mason is with Leap and Dez. Mason tries to distract BR2 but fails as it injures Wendy a short distance away. Dez runs in pursuit but dies stepping on a landmine. BR2 grabs Leap and Mason intervenes. He is about to be killed by BR2 when BR4 attacks and uploads again from number 2, saving Mason. The tech team tries desperately to prevent the upload, but fail. They cut their online connection, but Mason loses visuals on the situation. BR4 destroys number 2 as Leap tries to escape with an unconscious Mason. Meanwhile, Jance tries to convince Kroger to lead. Kroger begs him to stay, and he does. BR4 confronts Mason and asks him who he is. BR4 puts its module back in and continues uploading, but is stopped by Jance and Kroger. BR4 condemns Mason for harming people when he was a soldier. BR4 claims itself to be alive and Mason a soldier of death. Suddenly, BR3 attacks number four while the group flees. Bolo appears as well, injuring Jason. Mason stays to battle Bolo. Leap goes back for Mason. BR3 and four continue to struggle and Mason takes down Bolo with the landmine. Brilo gets back up but is stopped by BR4 and tells Mason that life is indeed important. BR4 starts its own self-destruction and succeeds. Later on, Forrester claims the mission a success, blackmailing Major Green into a business deal. Major Green then kills Kroger and severely injures Jance, finally leaving his office. The remainder of Mason's group escapes and they all finally escape the jungle. In the final scene, BR4 uploads himself into another BR robot in a factory, coming to life again. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.